hopefully you guys can see me today is Friday November 16th 2018 I look like I just escaped from prison check out my stripes uh, I'm in the car hubby had to go oops I am in the car hubby went inside of Walmart to go get me a pair of flip-flops real quick my <laughs> flip-flops broke about four days ago and I don't fit other shoes those are my only pair of flip-flops so I'm just in the car until he comes back <sighs> we're on our way to our 39 week appointment <laughs> so we stopped at Walmart to get me a pair of flip-flops which was a fail so I'm gonna try and squeeze my fat ass feet into these croc sandals that I have that don't fit so we'll see on our way to the appointment um, whoop, whoop. hopefully this is our last one I made Bay uh, go into work late today in case they tell me no ma'am go straight to the hospital do not pass go do not collect two hundred dollars so what's wrong mm -mm. the car the um, car seat got a level on it that's kind of cool oh to make sure it's level mm -hmm. like, okay yeah we just put the car seat in so, excuse my quadruple chins. Yeah, girl, my face broke the hell out. So, we're on our way to the doctor now. We'll let you guys know what happens. Things took... Mm, I don't know what that is. Things took an awkward turn. So, I'm getting induced today. That's all I know so far. Um... It was unexpected. Bay looking a little stressed out. <laughs> but you know what? We prayed for a safe delivery. So yeah. yes. we're going to stay positive for a safe delivery. Baby is low on fluid. So that's why we have to get induced. Once I have more info, I'll let you know. <laughs> mm. Should have recorded y'all comfortable and sleeping and shit. Snoring too. While I'm in pain. Snoring his butt off. You was like. <laughs> just hard as fuck. At one point, he went from side to back. Like. Mm hmm. I'm open. You was acting like you was in your bed. still beeping I'm ready for shift change it's almost seven are they gonna let me beep until the shift change how do you feel babe stressed me too This has been a rough night. It's been a rough three days. Yeah, but t tonight I feel like been the roughest night. Mm -hmm. yeah. We are so ready for shift change. So, so terribly ready. Sorry if the camera is shaking, you guys. I literally cannot stop shivering. And I don't know if they can see my hand. Mm -hmm. So they just broke my water. Oh, excuse me. They just broke my water, and I'm so happy because that means one step closer to getting out of here. Poor Dada, she's an MVP. Mm -hmm. She's been thugging it out with us for a day and a half now. 
Does she need another blanket? I don't know. Um, but I'm feeling pressure since they broke my water, which is good. Shift change is about to happen in like 10 minutes. I don't know who we're going to get, but we'll take anything right now other than what we have. It just sucks because, you know, this is an, an important mm -hmm. moment and not everyone is going to have the best situation and not everyone is going to have right. the worst. It's just, it sucks when you're on the short end of the stick. Mm -hmm. Like, it, if you don't like your job, don't. Especially healthcare. Don't do it. I don't even know why this band aid is wet. Because it was fluid coming out of it. Yeah. Just, yeah. Catch up with you guys in a moment. Yep. I know I look crazy, but after three days over, I don't even know how many hours, our son was born, Matthew Langston Blevins. He's perfect. We haven't vlogged in like days. Yeah. The sad thing is, <laughs> we're still at the hospital. Mm -hmm. It's <laughs> Tuesday. It's Tuesday. First time we vlogged was Friday. The first time, yep. First time we vlogged was Friday. I got a lot of it on my phone too. Um, we had the baby Sunday. Today Tuesday, and we still can't go home. <laughs> Look at all that hair. All that heartburn I had. His hair everywhere. His back is hairy. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. He's perfect. Right, Papa Bear? Oh, yes. So it's one, almost one twenty in the morning. Mm. We're so ready to go home. Be in our own bed. It makes no sense because we did not pack for this many days. No. We packed extra clothes for like a day. We packed for three days. Yeah, we packed five. for three days, not five. No, it'll be six because we got here Friday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Well, today's supposed to be the last day. I mean, we're supposed to be able to go home tomorrow. I mean, not to Wednesday. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, tomorrow. Tuesday, so tomorrow. Yeah, but we don't know when tomorrow. That's true. It could be tomorrow or late. It's going to be tomorrow sometime. I'm praying we get to go home today. I doubt that very highly. But I will prepare for us to be able to go home today. But we love him. <sighs> I can't wait to tell y'all this full labor and delivery story. I finally got the last bit of um stuff taken off of me. Like, 
Look at what the tape has done to my body. All that is tape. Like, underneath this tape. Tape. Just wanted to check in real quick. Because we tired. Not of him. Not from baby stuff. We just tired of being here. Thank you. Thank you so much. I get to sit next to you. We're about to be the cool kids on the block. Little boy. How does it feel? Is he confused by it? No. I'm scared. Give me Why are you scared? <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> How about you pick him up by his shoulder, by his underarms? Yeah. Don't I have to support his head? Yeah, but you can want to scoop him up under his arms, and then we. <laughs> so if you're gonna pick him up like this, you gotta grab him. And then use the back of your fingers to support his head. You see what I did there? Yeah. And then bring him up like this. All right? Wait, wait, no, you can just put him in my, in my arm. You got to pick him up. If you can't pick him up, you don't need to be around my son. You got to pick him up. Oh, my God, that's not fair. That is perfectly fair. Girl, you got about 15, 11 kids. Put your finger, put your thumb underneath his armpit. And put your fingers underneath his head, back of his head. Got big like you don't have to. You I can still it. tuck. There you go. See, he told you you could do it. Perfect. Everybody can do that. Even little stubby hand people. Are you going to cry again? I don't know. Isn't he so squishy? He's so tiny. If you want, yeah, you can, you can sit all the way back. Spit up on you. She's okay with that. <laughs> I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry. But he's so cute, look at his little face. He'd be rolling his eyes though. I know I probably look crazy, but whew, tonight is the first night that we are home from the hospital. I actually have Matthew sitting on my chest, and I'm tired. I'm in a lot of pain from the C-section scarring area, and what pisses me off the most is they really use staples. So I asked one of my other friends, and she just had her baby last month, also via cesarean, and she didn't get staples. I know every doctor is different and things like that, but I don't want staples. Like, I'm...